is Kristen and I have an empties for you. Um, I know I've been I've been gone a little bit and I apologize and I appreciate you guys sticking with me. It's just, you know, think, I promise you things will get back to normal, but probably not until next year. Okay, that's all right. In the meantime, we're just going to we're going to bust through these empties and I don't, I don't even know quite what's in here. So let's just let's just jump in and get started. So first I have some hair things here on top. Um, this is the Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. These are some of my favorite shampoo and conditioners uh, from the Alterna line. Actually, uh, overall, really. But from the Alterna line, they are my favorites. Uh, I think they maybe changed the packaging of this in some way now. But So if you're looking for this and the bottle doesn't look exactly like this, it's just because they changed the packaging. But it's the Replenishing Moisture line. Really like those. Would absolutely repurchase. Um, right now I'm using an Olaplex. And I really want to get the Orbe Gold Lust Shampoo and Conditioner. I just haven't gotten them yet. And actually, I have some in here, so I'll wait to talk about that. But anyway, love those. Would absolutely repurchase. A um, couple other hair things in here. Let's talk about this and what, how terrible it is. I love me some dry brow products. You guys know that. I love the, it's not my favorite anymore, but I love the Dry Bar Detox um, Dry Shampoo. Big fan. But this is the Detox for Brunette. This is terrible. It, it just color everywhere. I have to make sure that I put it in before I get in the shower because I have to try to get it all off of my face then. Um, and then if you do this, you know, like throughout the day, I'll go like this to just to try to, you know, put a little more volume in my hair. I will inevitably come out with the color on my fingers. It's, it's not good. Nope, nope, nope. We'll never repurchase that again. The one that I do love and have, and has taken over for my dry bar detox as far as my favorite dry shampoo is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo. This stuff is amazing. I feel like I used it before and was like, eh, I like it, but you know. I like the dry, dry bar better. No, I have changed my mind. I absolutely love this. It's great. I'm a big fan. Huge fan. I have repurchased. I have it in full size. I have I have a lot of travel size of the detox one left that I need to work through, which is fine. I don't dislike it. This just doesn't put as much of a white cast in my hair, but works as well. Sort of before this, I'm going to uh, we'll, we'll just, let's just get into this for a minute. Before this, I was kind of convinced that if you didn't have a little bit of a white cast, your hair wasn't just wasn't just didn't work as well. So I would put the dry shampoo in, even if there's a white cast, hit it with a hair dryer that'll take the white cast out. And I, it just I, I don't know. I thought that was the only way to really get you know the oil and have it work as well. But this has shown me that that is not the case. <laughs> Show me the light. Okay. Yet another Tresemme tray two. I have these in all shapes and sizes. Ginormous ones, bitty ones, this one, this size one. Um, I, it's just my favorite hairspray. I, it has been for years. I don't see myself changing anytime soon. Every time I try a different one, even a more expensive one, I just don't love it as much. The only one that's ever come close to me to that one on the higher end is the one that I used before I found the Tresemme, and that was Shaper Plus. And I loved Shaper Plus. I think it's by Sebastian. I love that. It was awesome. But at any rate. Okay. Uh, I have more here. Let me dig around. I have a, I have a few more. I was going to switch over to body stuff, but these are right here, I see, and, and these are hair things. And this is what I was alluding to before. The Orbe Gold Lust Repair and Restore line. Okay. The shampoo is delightful. It makes your hair have a little bit of shine. It, ha it just feels a little bit better. Works well with my extensions. I have extensions. Um, and it smells amazing. <laughs> It smells like the, the, the texture spray that I like. It's so good. So I absolutely am going to be purchasing full sizes of these. I was waiting till the holiday sets came out. They have come out now, so I will probably be checking those and picking one of those or something. But I want full sizes of those, 100%. Love, I love, I love it. Love it. But I will tell you this. So I loved these, which this was probably two, maybe three shampoos that I got out of this. Um... I'm not going to go full into liters for, of those because I want to, I'm, I'm going to ramp up, if, so to speak. I'm going to go to the eight ounce or whatever. I think it's shampoo is eight and the conditioner is six point something. I want to use those first. And then if I like it as much as I think I do, then I'll go ahead in and get the liters. I just feel like it makes more sense to just be careful. <laughs> you know, it's too expensive to just go diving in. Okay. 
Um, this is kind of a random, but this is the Benjabel Organic Brush Shampoo. You can still get this on Amazon. I'm not sure if you can still get it on their site or not anymore, but this is what I love. I buy the bigger sizes like this and then refill my smaller ones. I love this. It works so well. It works better than anything else I've ever used. It's natural. It's I think it's technically organic. It has um, organic oils of coconut, olive, jojoba, vegetable glycerin, Gunar gum, rosemary extract, and aloe vera. It does say organic brush shampoo, so it must be. Seriously. Sometimes all I can do is shake my head at myself. All right, let's see how many of these in here. Oh, I only have two of these in here. Uh, Kirkland makeup wipes. Absolutely my favorite. You get these at the Costco. They have just enough moisture in them. Um, I, I use the, the ones, I keep the ones like this in my vanity and the ones like this size I travel with. Love them. They, they're just the best and they're the most reasonable as far as they're like cost effective. They're the most cost effective. I love them. Um, I used up another one of my Quo Luxury Cotton Pads. I bought a few of these when I was in Canada the last time, but I suspect I won't be going to Canada anymore for work, so that's trouble because <laughs> they're my favorites. And I've tried literally every other one out there. Um, I like the Shiseido ones, but they're just so expensive for what they are, but uh, it, it doesn't matter. Moving on. Okay. I love Snow Angel. You guys know that. This is the season for Snow Angel to come out this summer. They did uh, like a Christmas in July sort of thing. And this is a very interesting product. It's, oh, what is it called? Does it say? Oh, sugar. Um, it doesn't say, but it was a moisturizer and it was a really light sort of whipped um, texture. It says hydrating. Oh, it's called body cloud cream. There we go. I knew it had to be on here somewhere. Hydrating body cloud cream. And it, had, it says with vitamin infused beads. It, I loved it. It was really nice. It was nice and light. I don't think it would be hydrating enough for me in the winter, but it was lovely in the summer. And I just love the scent of Snow Angel. It's, ugh, it's just lovely. It doesn't have any description of the scent, but it's fresh yet a little bit sweet and a little bit floral. I don't know. I love it. It's great. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's, oh, here's a couple of other body things. Um, the pistachio, th this is something that Emily gave me actually when we were together. It's a hydrating pistachio body butter. This was really good and it smelled really good. It smelled like that Laura Mercier body souffle and pistachio, only a little bit better. I loved this. I used, you can see, I used, this is like flat. I used every little tiny bit out of it. And I love that the, I don't know if the full size packaging of this is like this, but I love that there's like all, hardly any waste. I love that. Um, by the way, if this is your new empty, if this is the first empties of mine and you're new that you've been to, welcome. Um, I'm usually a touch more uh, regular with my videos, but it's been, it's been a rough go for a while. Um, and I always film here in front of my like dresser that I have in my room because then I sort my garbage out in front of me from recycling garbage. Okay, in case you're curious. I know. I've used about a hundred of these, but I'm going to keep showing it because it's amazing. It's like $5 at Trader Joe's, five, six dollars, something like that. Um, the coconut body butter has a lovely top that I think is genius. Smells amazing. The smell sticks with you all day long. So if you, but it's not, I don't think it's overpowering. I would be curious if people, um, I have a friend that gets regular migraines and I don't think she's ever said that this gives her a migraine, but I don't, at any rate. I'd be curious if this has, if the scent of this has bothered any of you guys that get migraines and that sort of thing, because I feel like it's a, it's a very warm vanilla scent. I get more vanilla than I do coconut out of it for sure, but I don't know. I love it. It's awesome. Okay. It's great. Oh, look, there's another travel size living proof. Still like it. We'll repurchase. Guys, I only have one of these, <laughs> Neutrogena hand cream. Um, it's great. You guys know I've used this over and over again. I use the fragrance free. I cut it open and get every little last bit out of it. Um, it's the last thing I put on my hands before I go to bed. Don't put this on your hands and think you're going to go about your day because it's very thick and very kind of Vaseline-y, but lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Let's see. Let's get this out of the way here quickly. Um, oh, this is another body thing. All right. And I love this. This is something new. This is the Harper and Airy juice cleanse exfoliating sugar cubes this came in i don't know what the cost of this is because it came in a um, fun i loved these 
I was very surprised how much I liked them. There was literally like a cube about that big and it was green and it had kind of like sugary sort of crystals on the outside. I'm sure it wasn't sugar, but that's, you know, what it looked like. And I would get two different exfoliating sessions out of one cube. So I just kept this in the, kept this in the shower. I'd pull one out and I would use it one day. And I exfoliate my body twice a week, usually on Mondays or Sundays and Thursdays. It's just what I do. Same thing with my face. I have to have a system or I'll forget. So I would, you know, use as much of it on the one day and exfoliate my whole body. And then I would just set what was left of it up top here and leave it in my shower. And then the next time I would use it up and then I would, you know what I'm saying? So I got two, I don't know how many cubes actually came in here, but I got two uses out of every cube. And I love this. I would absolutely purchase this again. I, I really liked it. I love the Dove exfoliating, you know, what I've shown before. I'll link it or show a picture or something. I love that as well. And you can get that at the drugstore. But I, I don't love the dispensing. My, you know, I have to scoop it out of there. And I don't love that. This was much easier and cleaner. And I really liked that. I was a big fan. Uh, I went through another of the Luxaton um, shower oil. I use this to shave my legs. I've shown that before. I have already repurchased. I, I just love, I feel like it makes my shave last longer and my legs feel so much better after using this versus just soap or even a regular shaving cream. For me, this is, this is my favorite. Um, we're going to get to some skincare and some makeup I have in here as well. Oh, there's another hair thing. My apologies. This is the Invisible Brunette Dry Shampoo by Paul Mitchell. It was fine. It smelled really good, but I didn't think it did very well. So I would not purchase that again. And then the Caudalie Grape Water, I was, this is on my list of things to use up. I have to set this over here so I don't forget to put it in my use it up. Um, I really did like this. I just had been forgetting. So it was on my list of things. And when I was doing lives on Instagram, uh, lots of people were helping me remember to use it. And so I used it all up and I'm happy to report. And, and I like it. There's nothing, I wonder if I can even get a little bit out of here yet. A little bit but you can tell it's at the end because it's like coming out not quite as fine <laughs> it's fine a little do a little dewy finish uh this is just you know i throw these hand soaps in here every once in a while with one that i particularly like this it's from bath and body works it says white barn on it i don't know the difference doesn't matter it's mahogany teak wood which is the one that smells like a lovely man um Oh, it smells so good. I really liked this. Bob liked it too. So if you're wondering how the mahogany teak wood is in a, in a hand soap, it's lovely. Oh my goodness, some recycling. All right. So let's see this. Oh, that's a, that's a box. It has nothing to do with anything. Okay. Let's talk about some moisturizer. Let me pull these all out of here. One of my favorite moisturizers of life. <laughs> I have used up so many of these. This is the Genius, the Elgenis Genius Anti-Aging Moisturizer. I have a one ounce that I've used up and a travel size and another travel size. It's just great. It has a little bit of a sweet smell to it. Nothing, nothing I don't think that would be offensive to anybody or would be too much. It's great. It's not overly moisturizing. It's just enough moisturizing. I can use it morning and night without any issues. Absolutely love, have repurchased, will continue to repurchase. I'm trying very hard to use up everything that I have because I have a ton of moisturizers kind of in my backup stash. So I'm trying hard to work through those. And when I'm done with them, I will repurchase that for sure. Um, also on the Elgenis, I, I can't help it. I have liked Elgenis since long before I was doing YouTube videos. So, and they do send me products here and there. Um, but you guys know, I, I've purchased, I purchased their stuff by myself over and over and I'm on automatic um what is it called automatic delivery auto delivery from QVC for this this is the eye balm the Elgenis eye balm it's the only one I really use currently while I'm traveling I'm, I'm using up one from Estee Lauder that I do like but I just I don't like it as much as I like this so this is the Elgenis complete eye renewal balm I have two of these because one was travel and one was home that I have used up they just happened to get used up at the same time this I gave up trying to use. I just don't think it's working for me. I, I worked through a full one of these and I was trying to work through this and I just I just don't love it. It's the It Bye Bye Redness for sensitive skin. I For a while there I had a lot of breakouts and I still have a few here and there and I was really trying to dial down to what it was. And when I stopped using this, um, I 
the, I still was having some breakouts, but I also felt like when I started using something else, my skin looked more moisturized. So I just don't think this one is a fit for my skin. So I'm going to give up the ghost on that one. I have an Algenist cleanser. This is the anti-aging melting cleanser. This is the cleanser that I use at home and travel when I have a travel size. When I don't, then I, you know, figure out something else to use. But, oh, I use the CeraVe. That's what I use um, when I travel. But I really like this. I, it, it melts. It's not as good as the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup. That is my top favorite um, makeup removal. But again, the dispensing system in this is so much better than the Bye Bye Makeup that that's why I choose this one. It's, it's a close second, though, to the It Cosmetics. Close second. I just love the dispensing mechanism better. Um... I have a couple serums that I have used up, and I've already repurchased this. The Ulla Hendrickson Truth Serum. I use this um, as my morning serum. And when I don't use this, I feel like the brightness of my skin suffers. This really just gives a little bit of life and brightness to my skin that when I don't use it and go back to using it, I 100% notice the difference. I did a video on this, review on this eons ago. Like, I don't even know, right? Seven years, maybe six years? I don't know, a long time ago. If I can find it, I'll link it below for you guys if you want to check it out. But I stand by everything I've said in that review because I still feel that same way and have repurchased. Um, the Lancome Genifique. This is the serum that I use at night. I'm trying to, again, work through serums that I have, so I have not repurchased it yet, but I have repurchased this several times in the past. I really like how this... Somebody asked me recently in a comment, like, what do I like about it? I feel like it just plumps up my skin a little bit and helps with the elasticity. I don't know what it claims to do, but that's what I feel like it does for my skin. And I notice the difference when I'm not using it. Um, I'm current using, currently using the Algenist, um, oh, what is it called? Collagen Serum. And that does similar things. <laughs> I can't talk. It does similar things for me that this one does. I, I And I can't decide which I like better, but I've used, I've, I've only used up one of those in the past, and I've used probably five or six of these, so I have a little more experience with that. All right, um, a Becca Travel Primer. I continue to repurchase these over and over again. You guys know that Becca uh, is my ride or die, as they say. Do they say that? Any, do the kids say that anymore? Probably not. Uh, okay, I <laughs> I have used up and repurchased this. This is a find for this year. It will definitely be if I ever, if I film one. Who knows? I never did last year. A 2019 favorite. The Kapari Starry Eye Balm. I love this stuff. I've used it all. Um, I use it under my eyes. I put on my other, you know, my face primer. I put this here. And it just helps. It helps my dry under eyes work so well. If you don't have dry under eyes, you would not like this. But if you do, it, it just really kind of fills things in and... I don't want to say plumps it up, but I, I don't know. It, I guess plumps it up. I don't know. It just makes it smoother, easier to apply concealer. Um, it helps any concealer not look quite as dry and cakey as, it, as it, they can look on a dry under eye. So it was a lot of explanation on that. Sorry. I did do a review on that. I will link that review for you below if you want to go hear what I have to say more about that. Um, I used up. Uh, is this the one that I broke? It is. So I did use up um, a Panelay paint pot. I had purchased this new one and proceeded to drop it and crack that. So I very carefully scraped out all of this and put it in the one that I used up. But I use this every single day over a regular eye primer to kind of give the clean canvas sort of for my eyes. Love this. Will repurchase. I don't know if I can back to MAC this or not because of the breakage in it. And I have a ton of stuff to back to back anyway, so I'll probably just let that go because I don't want anybody to get hurt if they open it or something. Um, the Rodin and Fields Lash Boost. I use this on my lashes for lash growth. I love this. I continue to repurchase this. It's expensive. And I have a couple that I haven't even opened yet. I don't I don't go through it as fast as their delivery of it is, so I'm forever like putting off my next shipment because I don't use it quite as fast, but I like it. Um, this I did not like, but I used it up because it was on my use it up, so I need to set it over here. This is the Julep um, Eye Gel in Black is Black. It was fine. It dried out very quickly. I used it on my upper lash line to use it up. It does not stay on your, on your waterline in any way, shape, or form. So, nope, I would not purchase that again. Um, and I used up this. This is a Hourglass Dim Light. I used every little teeny bit. I scraped all the last of it out of there to use it all. 
Um, and I have already repurchased that as well, and that will go in my Use It Up. And we've come to the end of my empties. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that, that you found something of value within that. I feel like this might have been a long one because I had lots of things to say. And there were some new things in there that I reviewed. So um, on my face today for foundation, I have the uh, Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. I think I'm in the shade 150. Um, and then on my cheeks, I have the Japanesque blush looks like this. This was a little sample size. I think maybe we, I got it at some point. It had quite a bit of product though. But it's in shade 2. I've used a lot of that. As you can see, it's one of my favorites. On my eyelids, I used MAC Tan Pigment. And then for the rest of the shades, I used Dose of Colors in Baked Browns. You'll hear me talk about this in a BoxyCharm video, probably the next video that goes up. Love this palette. But that's what's on the rest of my eyes. And then on my lips, I got a, a package from P uh, Wonder Beauty in PR. Look at this cute mini lipstick thing. And I got to tell you guys, this mirror right here is a pop socket. How genius is that? I hope that this kit's available. I'll for sure link it below for you guys if it is because it's so cute. Anyway, there's a bunch of little lipsticks in here. And the one that I use today is the shade in Upgrade, which looks like that. Hopefully you guys can see it fairly well. I know it's always brighter on this side because of the windows there, but what are you going to do? All right, I think that is everything that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and in everything that you do and say, be beautiful. Bye.